Well, as far as the song was concerned, uh, you know, and a lot of the times, hopefully you start with the song and then, you know, you lead to the score. Um, and I hadn't really decided at that point how I wanted it to sound. The first clues for me really was I went to, I went to Prague and I went to see some shooting. Uh, and I was talking to Daniel about it and just watching the way that he was, watching the way that he talked, watching the way that he walked, watching the way that he moved. In a way, the song has to say, this is who I am. I knew that I didn't want the song to be a kind of, you know, they sometimes have those big kind of velvet curtain of a record where it's all, you know, kind of come hither, you know, you are the dangerous stranger and, um, you know, those kind of dark kind of purple songs. It felt like it needed to be something which announced kind of Daniel's James Bond to the world, you know, in a, in a reasonably uncompromising fashion in the same way that he does in the film. So it felt like it needed to represent him. It needed to be the sound of him at that moment in his career, at that moment in his life, in that moment in the character's development. It's almost like, you know, you're saying, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. You know, get out of my way. I'm coming, get out of my way because you're not going to stop me. So it needed to be quite, you know, kind of quite tough and quite hard. Um, and then the next problem, of course, was who do you get to sing that? Um, and it was, uh, it was actually the head of music at Sony who suggested Chris, and I think she'd worked with him before. And I knew him and uh, Audio Slave, and I knew Soundgarden. And I thought, there's something quite perfect about that, you know, because Chris is, you know, he can sound like all of those things, you know, he can sound gentle, he can sound introspective, he can sound uh, violent and aggressive and you know all of the things that you kind of want are all there in the one voice it just felt like it was the right time to do something which was a bit more brutal sensitive at parts uh, and you know the phrase you know my name a couple of lines that I came up with for the song Chris wrote the lyric but um, the idea of calling it you know my name uh, was because it was very kind of cocky you know it's like when people ask you, you know, who are you? He says, well, you know already. So it was, you know, it was already kind of confrontational and it felt like it's the sort of thing that, you know, Daniel's James Bond could say. Hey.